I think right now we'll be moving to uh, Mrs. Sara Qadawi. Okay, thank you. And thank you, Mrs. Malek, for joining us today. And I would like to answer my question. Um, so these past seven years, have you ever thought about like quitting when like things got tougher, even even though you were passionate with the with architecture and stuff? Like, and you mentioned your experience in friends when people, well, the people you met when they looked down on you, like you hated that obviously, but have you ever thought about coming back here to Morocco and just quitting everything there, giving up everything and just coming back? Yeah. Yeah, I actually did. I, it was in 20, 2013 or 14. Yeah, so I did one semester in France and it was really hard. I just couldn't have friends. I just like, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> I couldn't, really, like, it was a really tough experience. So, um, September to December, that was my first semester. Then I went back to Bertin in December in the Christmas holiday. And I told my dad, like, I don't think I want to do architecture. I, you know, I kind of blamed it on the school because I thought school was hard. And I told him, um, I don't want to do architecture anymore. I want to quit. I don't want to do this. I told him, you know, just send me anywhere else. I want to study law, like go to medical school, but I don't want anything to do with architecture. And I started crying. And then my dad was like, okay, just go to bed. And we can talk tomorrow. And then the next day he asked me, he said, okay, so it is just a bad experience. It's not a bad career. He said, you always wanted to do architecture. And one teacher or one school does not, is not gonna determine where you're gonna be in the future. You always wanted to do architecture. So we're gonna do anything to send you to architecture. So don't even bring up medical school or law school. That's what you're gonna do. And we're gonna find a solution. And I was very nervous and, and excited at the same time because I was like, yes, yes, dad, you're right. That's what I want to do. So I'm not going to let my friend's experience um, decide what I want to do in my career. And that's when uh, my brother, Amin, who was also a student of Mr. Khalid, uh, he, he was here in California before and he told me, okay, you know what? Just come to the US, just look around, see if you like it, you can stay. If you don't like it, we can find another solution. So that's when having a very supportive family is very important. So my family was very supportive. So I was like, okay, I can come to the US, really? Like that was not even in, like in the flat. Um, so, and I came here and I loved it and I stayed. So I think the um, moral story here is when things get tough, always look for the silver lining. There's always a, a better opportunity. Like in my head back in the days, I was like, okay, so I don't want to do this. I failed. I, I hate it. I don't like it. But, you know, God had or Allah had better plans. For me. And, you know, I just had to wait. So there's like a better thing out for me. So it just happened. Actually, now I'm very grateful and thankful for the bad experience in France because that allowed me to come here. Uh, yeah, it, it sounds weird. But, you know, there's always something better waiting for you. And. Yeah, don't let a person tell you that you're not good at something. Um, like they will tell you that you're like, like back in, in, in France, my teacher was like, okay, so I don't think you guys are meant for architecture. And he was like, just this really rude person. But I came to the US and I had so many awards in architecture school. I graduated president honors. Like, so who's right now? Like, was he right or am I right? So like, don't let people tell you what you're good at, or what you're bad at. So like, listen to constructive criticism, but you need to know when the person is just attacking you personally and where the person is actually trying to help you. So it's very important. Thank you. Thank you.